Zombie Apocalypse. Hi there everyone, this is Raxus and I'm so happy to announce that I managed to find a Nintendo Switch. Yes, I did. So basically, Nintendo Switches are very hard to find, especially during this pandemic wherein people are locked inside their homes and basically every, everybody bought a, a Nintendo Switch and you know uh, scalpers have been have taken advantage also of the situation and they've started like buying the switches and selling it online for uh, like um, 200 no yeah uh, additional 200 from the price here in Canada you can buy the Nintendo switch for 399 Canadian dollars including tax that would uh, be around 451 451 uh, Canadian dollars and people have been selling them for like and they're not brand new the used Nintendo switches are being sold for like almost $600 without the tax yet so a, a, an estimation for $600, $600 with tax would reach somewhere around 700 I think so so this is like Wow, this is like something that I think uh, was a, a lucky for me because I just managed to find this online the day that somebody uh, returned their Nintendo Switch. So this is not a used item, by the way. I, I clarified it with the store. It's just that somebody bought it and uh, they immediately returned it because they didn't want it anymore or I don't know what the reason is. But I checked the insides of this of this box, and it's all 100% brand new. And uh, some of the, the 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 sticker is gone, by the way. But I was assured that this is a brand new item. So I hope that the store is not lying because I didn't have the time to like uh, um, wait for it to be verified by Nintendo or whatever. Or I didn't have the time to like talk to someone else in the store because other people were lining beside uh, behind me to buy this thing and this is the only one so far and I managed to get it so let's start with the main main product the device itself the Nintendo switch so uh-huh so the box itself is still like brand new, no dents. So I believe that the person who used this wasn't really, um, I was very careful with it. I don't see any scratches. Everything is still in fine condition. So I do see, of course, that the, the plastics are a bit rumpled but not something that I would expect from someone who used it and then um, threw it away and somehow found the the plastics again so there's our serial number over here and I hope you can see that and yeah still good the buttons so far let me check still operational but even when but even if this is like broken, uh, you can easily replace this. But the quality so far, I don't see any, any scratches, which it's a good sign. Second controller, good so far. I don't see any scratches. I don't see any marks, no grease stains. So it's good. Next is we have the unit itself, it's still in its plastic. I wonder if, yeah, okay, it's still in its plastic. Uh, not sealed though, but the plastic is clean. I can't see any grease marks with the, the screen itself. The unit is uh, clean, yep. So let's put it there. 
So everything is still in its package. Even the cable, the HDMI cable, the USB-C charger. I still have the in package insert. Uh -huh. So this is, oh, the controller charger. I'll have, I'll have to read how to charge it, charge both the system, but I think this is good enough. Hmm. What, what's this? I'll, uh, hmm. I'll have to check it out on what this is. I have no idea. Sorry about that. <laughs> and then finally, we have the dock. Dock. Oh, we also have this one. Oh, it's the wrist strap, I think. So it's still in its packaging. Good enough. No grease marks. So yeah, I really had a lucky stroke. Uh, uh, something like this would be impossible to find considering that a lot of people are searching for it. But I had the chance of checking the Best Buy app. I saw it that it was, res uh, it was available in one store. Reserved it after quite a short time of deliberating if I if I wanted to reserve it or something but good thing that I did and Yeah, I am now a proud owner of a Nintendo switch So happy happy for this purchase this is literally the second most expensive thing that I have bought since coming co coming here in Canada the other times I haven't bought myself something so uh, the first uh, the first would have would be a cell phone because the phone that I bought brought here in in Canada did not survive the cold weather so unfortunately uh, my note 8 did not survive and hmm, is this normal uh, my, my note 8 did not survive I think it's partially because there was some moisture inside possibly from the the uh, humid weather in the Philippines and when I came here uh, the battery would like last only for 30 minutes even though that in regular temperature, it would last like half a day at best. So I thought that it was already dying. And here in Canada, you need a mobile phone for the uh, GPS whenever you need to like go to somewhere else. You also need to be in contact via email, uh, other chat messages, uh, messaging app. Especially since uh, the, the, during that time, finding a job was like very, very difficult. And if you didn't answer the call, chances are somebody else would have gotten your job and you're left with nothing. So I had to be connected at all times. And that's why I needed a cell phone. I also needed a sturdy cell phone that would work with the weather. So, uh... I think I found another Note 10, which is to date is just the best phone that I have had. It helps me because my my work requires me to use an app that is uh, that requires a good phone. Uh, it records my location, my time in and time out for work. So yeah, that was my first expensive purchase, and this would. This Nintendo Switch would be my second. Partly because I also bought some uh, gadgets, I think. Accessories. The right term is accessories. So let's put this to the side. So all in all, I'm not going to tell you how much they cost. <laughs> the first one is the 128 gigabyte memory card. I'm gonna need this for my saves, I think, and maybe I'll be buying the 
online uh, the games online rather than purchasing the physical cartridge next is <laughs> no this game is popular right now and i know it's very basic of me to like buy this from a nintendo switch but you know i, I want it and then this one uh let's gonna let's take a look what's inside i have people who i think will enjoy playing this game with me but i did not buy a game yet to use to use for this one ah, it's hard so it works with the nintendo switch it's a small and you put the controller here and apparently you can play some games with it like it has some switches on the side we're gonna see what games we can use with this one I have some ideas on what games to play in the Nintendo Switch in, in, in the near future. Next, I bought this starter pack which has apparently a small bag, a film for the screen, and some headsets I think. It also I think it also has like uh, yeah. This one also, I think. I don't know what this is. Let me get something. Okay, this looks nice. So I have a small carrying bag, travel case for the game. It features Two shields or screens. A what's this? Oh, now I get it. It's for the for the cartridge, so that you can store your games over here. This one I don't know. Oh, yeah, for the controllers for the analog analog. This is oh the car charger. Hmm, nice one. And then finally you have headphones. Nice. They look like the headphones that Samsung gives out with their phones. Can you... Nope, can't focus. Focus, focus. There you go. Good enough. And, oh. A cloth for cleaning. They should have included something to clean the screen before you put the screen protector on finally this one since i don't know if i'm gonna get out bringing my nintendo switch this comes with surge so i bought a bag for it ideally for nintendo switch So this is where you put the dock, the device, this is where you put the, con I don't know where the, con oh yeah, device and controller, charger, and everything else. And then it fits into this one. Very nice small bag. So that's it. I am going to be unpacking this and charging my Nintendo Switch. Hopefully I'll be able to do some videos on me playing the game i'll have to learn how to uh, connect my nintendo switch with my laptop and then record it and play the game i wonder if it's allowed in youtube but hopefully it, it is so yeah this is the nintendo switch very nice so that's it don't tell my parents i bought this it's likely they won't be able to see my youtube channel but on the off chance that they will me D. Uh, this is this will be the first and last for this year <laughs> uh, uh, maybe next year I'll buy something again but this device will last me for five years here in Canada <laughs> anyway guys thank you very much for watching my unboxing video this has become an unboxing video so if you like 
and subscribe i'll be doing some more things especially here in canada i'll be talking about how i came here what i've learned and what i think people should know before coming here in canada so that's it for now thank you very much and good evening